Hey guys, welcome back to Femhead. I'm Victoria and today I want to talk about why we should strive for an optimal cycle even if we're not trying to get pregnant. And I find that a lot of women discover charting their cycles when they're trying to conceive after years of trying to avoid pregnancy and being on hormonal birth control and things like that. And while I 110% support women trying to conceive to learn how to chart, I think that we should be learning this way before that point. You see, our cycles are a like a canary in the coal mine. They often point to issues that are going on under the surface before they manifest in other areas of our body and our health. And it kind of just made me wonder, why are we waiting until we're trying to get pregnant to get our cycles in order? Why aren't we trying to put more focus into them earlier on? Because our periods and our cycles affect the quality of our life. Why, why, why are we settling for these grumpy old periods with heavy bleeding and cramping just because we think that's the way it has to be. And I'm not just talking about educating ourselves about what's going on in our body and our cycle, but really looking to how we can heal any menstrual issues that we have going on. Because I think there's so many of us who are satisfied with a halfway normal period or cycle, as long as it's not causing us any real pain, whether that be painful cramps, bleeding, or those sort of things. But I know there are so many out there, just like myself, who know when something a little off kilter with our cycle and we really are curious in how we can fix that. It takes people so long to get diagnosed with menstrual issues like PCOS and endometriosis because period pain is just written off as part of having a cycle and not just period pain but extreme period pain and there's so many of us who reach for hormonal birth control to heal these issues to balance out our cycles when really there are quite a few lifestyle changes that we can make to heal them naturally so i've known for probably about a year that i've been having some issues with my luteal phase but i just kind of wrote it off and i wasn't really concerned about it because it wasn't really causing any issues other than me having a pretty short luteal phase and i thought oh what the heck i don't really need to worry about it i'm not trying to get pregnant and so it kind of is actually good I don't have a short luteal phase. Yes, obviously I'm trying not to get pregnant, but I should have seen it as a warning sign that I needed to start addressing something before it got to a certain point. But thankfully when I did finally acknowledge it and start researching it, I have seemed to found my answer in a supplement called Vitex. Two cycles ago, I had a nine day luteal phase and a lot of spotting around my period. The previous cycle, I had so much spotting. Out of my 11 day luteal phase I had five days that weren't spotting like over the 28 day cycle I was spotting 11 days total so it was a lot of spotting and it was really frustrating so I decided two cycles ago that I needed to figure this out I'm currently on my first cycle of taking the supplement Vitex I'm supposed to work to heal a lot of different menstrual issues but the one that I was focusing on was a short luteal phase and low progesterone and just issues in that aspect of my cycle. And I'm happy to say that today, currently, I am on day 11 of my luteal phase with no spotting and day 22 of my cycle overall. So it seems to be healing in the right direction. So I'm very, very happy about that. Not to mention, I've noticed that it's been healing other aspects of having low progesterone that I almost wanted to address more than my short luteal phase. And those were just mood and energy levels. So two months before this cycle, I was just constantly exhausted for probably a couple months. No matter how much I slept at night, I was just exhausted throughout the day and I could not get myself out of this fog of exhaustion is how I describe it. And also I was having issues with like a lot of anxiety and stress and even a few days of like very mild depression, but I was like, this is not good. I need to fix this. And that's, those are really the things that was like, Victoria, you need to get this in order. But this cycle, I have been incredibly energetic and it's such a quick turnaround. Not to mention like I've been much more positive and productive and just happy and motivated like I was before I started having all these issues. And so that is also very exciting. So if everything keeps moving in this direction, I will be happy. And if it can get better than this, that would be amazing. But I would be ecstatic to keep it where it is at at just this cycle. But I'm really excited to see how it progresses over time. So I invite you to come along this journey with me and start, you know, seeing what you can do to heal your own cycle, whether that's through nutritional, lifestyle changes, supplements. There's a lot of great natural remedies for things. It makes me so excited and happy to know that those things are out there and they've been working really, really well for me. Just wanted to share it with you. And yeah, so that's what I have to say today about why you should strive for an optimal cycle, kind of what I have done and where I was and where I'm at now and how I'm just so much better off for it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.